Hello and welcome to Productivity for Solopreneurs, where each Wednesday at 1 p.m. I share insights to getting things done. Welcome. And today is live number 125 and the topic is feeling behind. And just a little bit about myself, if you are not familiar with me, my name is Evie Burke, and I help women entrepreneurs take their productivity and their profits to the next level. And they are ready to end that distraction in their business, and they're re ready to really make significant change. But they sometimes can find themselves just overwhelmed, exhausted by all of the things they want to get done in their business over the course of the day or the week or the month or whatever it is. But they don't want to be putting in, you know, nine to 12 hour days because life has other things for them too, right? They want to be fully present in everything that they do, whether that's their business or when they're home enjoying their family or their friends. They want to be fully present there and not thinking about what did I get done? What didn't I get done? What needs to be done tomorrow? They want to have a plan around that. So I help them create impactful solutions that focus on getting their high priority items done and completed so they can focus on growing their business with confidence and become the high achievers that they want to be. So over the past couple of weeks or so, I've been talking with business owners and I've noticed that there's a trend with, with a number of them. And that is that they're feeling like they're somehow behind uh, in the things that they're doing or that they're not where they should be right now. That somehow they should be further along in uh, the grand scheme of things, right? And the side effect of having this feeling of being behind or feeling like they should be farther ahead is they feel like the solution is I need to do more. How do I accomplish more? How do I get more done? Um, how do I stay focused more? And they think that once they can figure out how to do more, then they won't feel so behind all the time, or they won't feel like they should be further ahead because you know they're just they're gonna be being productive and getting all the things done, right? And, you know, they've generally there are some things that you can do to, you know, get a little bit more done or use your time more efficiently in your day. Uh, and they've come to me for help around, you know, what are those things? How can I do that? And the thing is that when you're feeling behind or you're feeling like you should be getting more done um, or you should be further ahead or further along on your journey than you are, is you can make all of those improvements to your productivity. You can be a master in getting things done and checking things off the list and not getting lost in social media. You know, you could be a master at that and you will still probably feel like you're not getting enough done. All right. And the problem isn't usually that you're not already doing enough because again, yes, there are things that we can all do, including me, to improve our productivity, to get more done in a day. But you are probably already doing a lot, okay? You're probably already getting a lot done in your business and you know, running around, doing all the things that you need to be doing. The problem actually is that you, you're not recognizing how much you have already done or how much you are already doing. So in one conversation in particular with somebody, you know, she, she this was like a problem that, that came up, right? How do I get more done? How do I be more productive? You know, I, I, she felt like she should totally be further ahead than where she is, you know, that somehow she had, um, it away a bunch of time that was lost to her and now she was behind and i started listing back to her the things that she had mentioned she had gotten done over the past um couple of weeks or month or so and you know these were things in her business i'm like you did this you did this you did this these were things in her personal life that were going on that that were taking a little bit more time than usual i'm like and you did this and you got this done and you know just things like that and, and i said 
you know, it's, it's not that you haven't been doing work or being busy or getting things done. You have done so much. And once she was able to like take that step back and, and notice it, she's kind of like, huh. And then she, she started laughing. She's like, yeah, I really have gotten a lot done, haven't I? I have really, I have really moved a lot of things forward and taken care of myself in, in some situations. And, and that took a little bit more time maybe than she anticipated. But she was, she was so focused on those incomplete tasks, on the things that weren't getting done, on the things she felt like should have been crossed off the list and done like a week or a month ago, that she wasn't noticing how much she was getting accomplished. She wasn't thinking about was the expectations that she had for herself that she didn't meet, were they even reasonable expectations? And once she was able to take that step back and look at, huh, you know, I, I really did accomplish a lot, you know, it it helped address some of that feeling of being behind, right? Because she was able to recognize the progress that had been made and just that simple act of looking at all of the progress that had been made, both both personally and professionally, she realized, okay, yeah, I'm actually in a really good spot. And, you know, we talked about from there, you know, a couple of, a couple of things to kind of um, make those little improvements here and there that might help and how to make sure she was setting expectations of herself and her time that were um, appropriate for the bandwidth that she has. But my, my point here is if you are feeling if you are focusing on um, where you think you should be and feeling like you're not doing enough work or that you should be further ahead, you can really end up beating yourself up and beating, kind of beating yourself into the ground because you're just so focused on, oh, why am I not getting in all of these things done? And you, it can lead to sacrificing time with, you know, friends, family, personal self-care, because you feel like you need to be doing more in your business and more in your business. And it, it can really start to be a vicious cycle. However, if you can take a step back and notice all of the things that you've accomplished, you can really start turning, turning that around, right? And it can really give you some space to breathe. And that can be so important. So one, one last little tidbit here uh, that's, that I wasn't on my notes, but I was just thinking about it, is again, it can also be helpful to make sure that you're setting goals and expectations of yourself and your time that are reasonable, that do actually work with the time frame that you have. Because if you're expecting, you know, it, I've used this analogy in other places, but if you're trying to sit, fit, eight pounds of potatoes in a six pound bag, it's not going to work, right? Those potatoes aren't going to fit. You have two more pounds of potatoes than what the bag can hold. And your time is the same way. If you have an eight hour day and, and most of us as entrepreneurs, you know, maybe we have eight hours, maybe that, that day we're working four hours, maybe that day we're working six hours, maybe that day we're working 10 hours, just whatever your day is. If you have a, eight hour day where you know you're going to be working, maybe, you know, two or three of them is going to be having conversation with clients or meetings or something else. And you might only have, um, you know, two or three hours to move things forward. But if you've created a expectation that you're going to get four or five hours of things done, oh, you're going to be so frustrated, sweetie, please don't do that. And if you need help with some of this, like I can help you with this. This is what I do. So reach out to me, um, head over to the website and go to the contact me form, fill it out and let's have a conversation. And, and if nothing else, you'll walk away with a couple of really good ideas for yourself around what you can do um, to, to manage some of that. You'll walk away with, with some good, good help and probably a couple of ahas, all right? And last but not least, if you have enjoyed this video and you want to know what the topics are for the upcoming ones and you want 
uh, the links to these to show up in your email so that you don't have to remember to go and look at Facebook or um, wonder you know, if or when it's gonna show up in your feed, then head over to my website, One Insight Closer, and I'll, I'll pop a link there in the comments. Um, head over to the website and sign up for the newsletter. You will get my how to choose priorities when everything is important freebie. And you'll also join the newsletter and you'll get notifications every week about what the topic is and links to watch the live or you know watch the recording when that comes up. In addition, generally what I do on my website is I write out um, the notes for the live. So if you if you find value in these videos but you don't always want to listen to them, you can head over to the website and you can read. Um, not all of the videos have that, but that's how I've been doing it more recently. So you can read the, the information there too. All right. That is all I have for you today. Until next week, much love.